Honey, they look forbidden to me. Ha uh ha, -huh, whatever. But think about the, the delicious things I can make with them. Apple pie, mm. apple sauce, mm. apple jack. Hey, maybe you can make some snapple to wet my Adam's apple. Get it? Adam's apple? I'm the funniest guy on the planet. You're the only guy on the planet. Now help me start thinking. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. God gave us all these trees in the garden to eat from, except for this very one. I know, but when someone says not to do something, what do you naturally want to do? Anyway, God's not around. He won't even know. So come on, take it away. Now, doing what God tells us not to do is called sin. And since God is always with us, He knows everything, just as He knew that Adam and Eve had sinned. Now, we don't know how long Adam and Eve had been in the garden, but we do know that until this time, they had always obeyed God. When Adam and Eve sinned, the garden became a place where God could no longer live. Now Adam and Eve had children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren, but none worshipped God until Noah. So God told Noah to build a big boat and fill with animals of every kind. Then Noah invited all the people to join him on the big boat, but they just laughed <laughs> and walked away. So when God brought the great flood, only Noah and his family survived. Noah's children had grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great and great-great-grandchildren, many who worship God, leaders like Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses, and prophets like Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Malachi, who told people to love and obey God. And four times, they did obey God, and the people went their own way. After speaking to the very last prophet, Malachi, God was silent. There are no more prophets, no more words of hope, no more promises of my Savior. Time passed slowly. One year, ten years, a hundred years, then four hundred years. And what about the people who loved God and prayed for his return? All they could do was wait.
Oh, how I love the Lord, that he would even notice a simple girl like me. The Lord has done so much for me, just as he does wonderful things for everyone who serves him. <laughs> Mary was the most blessed of all of them, not because she was perfect, but because she was the perfect mother to take care of God's own son. Mary loved God, trusted him, and trusted his plan for her life. Savior is born for you. 